Next problem, we're looking at this idea of, of depreciation or losing of value. So we look at exponential decay, right? Decay being the loss of a value. So we're losing 4.5% annually, and we start with 12,500. What equation can be used to determine the value of the car to five years? So think about this. We start with 12,500. In the first year, we depreciate by 4.5%. So 4.5%. 5%, that equals 4.5 over 100, right? Divide by 100, you move your decimal to the left twice. So turn this into a decimal, you get 0 0.045. So every year we lose this much. The idea being then that your new value is always point, right, 0.955 of your original value, or 95.5%. There, the idea is that 4.5% plus 9.5, excuse me, 95.5%, that equals 100%. So we're always taking into account, I mean, when I look at 95.5%, I knew to use that because we lost 4.5%. That means we have 95.5% of our original value. Now, the fact doesn't make sense, think of a simpler situation. If you have $100, and I said to you, you lost 15%. Okay, well, that means you lost $15 and you would have 85 So the idea is, oh, you lost 15%, that means you have $85 now, and 85 out of 100 is 85% of your original. So there's this balance between the loss and what remains. Uh, with this process, if we're not recognizing that, we can just calculate. So we can do 12,500 times 0 0.045 or 4.5%. 4 What's going to happen? Well, let's take a look. 12,500 times 0 0.045 and you get this number 562 right 0.5 now if you want to know what that what this is as a percent of the original amount right um, what would you do well if we take this and just divide it so press divide 12,500 we can confirm that oh yes that's 0 0.045 but if we go back to our right, original spot, I'm going to undo that division and multiplication. Um, here, you can ask yourself, well, you, you have $562.5 that you've lost, right? So how much do you have? So you do $12,500. you have lost 562.5 or 0.045%, 4.5%, uh, excuse me. Um, and that's this number. Now this is where the 95.5% is. If you divide this by the original, that gives you this decimal, 0.955 times it by 100, and we have a percent. What I'm doing here is, again, I first figured out how much I lost. So, and then I figured out, well, this new amount that I have, what percent is that of the original? And I just did that by dividing this new value by what I started with. That's just another way to connect it. So again, this right here, first you multiply it by 0 0.045, that tells you how much you lost in one year. Then you say, well, 12,500 minus this, that's how much I lost, what's my new value? Well, that's 11,937.5. Well, this, if we take 11,937.5 and divide it by 12,500, we get 0.955, which is 95.5%. Why am I showing you all this? Well, it's the key to understanding how to write these exponential decay functions because when you take 12,500, you can, instead of multiplying by 0 0.045, right, and then finding out what percent remains, right, because that's, that's what I'm doing right here. After one year, you have this amount. You could just say 12,500, right, instead of subtracting 4.5% and then calculating a new value, just multiply from the beginning. Multiply 12,500 by 95.5% or 0.955. So after one year, you would have 11,937.5. The next year, you, use, you lose 4.5% of that value. So you can take 11,937.5 times 0.955 again. And what would that get you? Well, 11,937.5. 0.5 times 0.955 equals this number, 11,400.3125. But here's the awesome part. Realize that we multiplied 
the original value, 12,500 by 0.955, and then multiply the result by 0.955 again. So we could have just done 12,500 times 0.955 twice, or 955 squared. So to two time periods, we multiplied um, the, the um, original amount by the percent that remains. So here, we can just pick this formula, right? For five years, we would do this five times. And in general, you could say, oh, this number two represents uh, the time periods that have passed. This is the original value. And this percent right here is the percent of decay. So it's not how much we, we lose each year, but how much remains, in fact. So, um, and, and if you don't like that wording, the last thing I can offer you here is to think of this as the 100% or 1 minus uh, 0 0.045. So that's an exponential decay. You always get this number in here by starting with 1 and subtracting the percent that you're losing. All right, hope that helped. Let's go to the next one.